right, welcome to another mini biology lesson. Uh, today we'll be looking at linked genes. Um, linked genes has to do with what we're talking about in genetics, um, specifically chromosomes and where the genes are located on that chromosome. This typically gets confusing for students, so let me try to make it a little more clear for you. So um, the trait we're going to be looking at for linked genes is right here. We have um, this boy has red hair, which is a recessive trait generally, and uh, and freckles. Um, and a lot of people who have red hair have freckles and, and light, light light eyebrow hair, obviously, and a couple other traits, but mostly red hair and freckles is the, the typical example. And you might be wondering why it seems like they, they typically have those two traits together. Well, if we take a look at the chromosome itself, and I'm going to draw it in blue here, let's say this is the chromosome, a, a chromosome he has, and he has two, obviously one from mom, one from dad, right? Okay, and on this chromosome, if we zoomed in to a certain part of the chromosome, we made that bigger. This would be coiled up DNA. And if we uncoiled that DNA, we get the area which was the a gene. And let's say this is the red hair gene. Red, well, hair color, and this was the red hair allele. Let me get that back on the screen for you. This is the allele for red hair, and this is the gene itself. So here's the allele. Um, the recessive allele of red hair. And then, um, let's say, right down here, very close to it, we unwind the DNA, and we find another gene, and this is the gene for freckles. Okay, and it's not that simple, it's not just one gene like this, but we'll just say it's freckles, it uh, has to do with the melanin in the skin. So there's the gene for freckles, there's the gene for red hair. Um, they're so closely related on the chromosomes, so like within the chromosome themselves, they're both right there. Okay? That means that they're typically inherited together. During meiosis, when those when those this chromosome is passed down from the mom or the dad into the sperm or the egg, um, these two genes go together. They never shuffle. Um, remember, in meiosis, sometimes the chromosomes can shuffle, uh, and that's uh, and we talked about that as crossing over. They shuffle. They they ch exchange genes. Well, in this case, these two are so closely related, so close together that they don't shuffle. That they're close. That they're related. They're um, inherited together. Um, which explains why certain traits tend to be found in s some individuals together. Um, so hopefully you understand linked genes more. Uh, an easy way to remember it just when you're thinking back to linked genes. They're linked, right? They're inherited together, linked together, close on the chromosome. So hopefully that makes more sense now and you have a better understanding of linked genes.